This is a Hess law problem, and Hess's law is a law of summation. It says if you have an unknown equation where you don't know the change in enthalpy, you can use smaller equations, manipulate them in such a way that you recreate this equation, then your delta H's will add up to be the delta H of your unknown. So the first thing you have to do is you go looking for two sulfurs, and they need to be on the reactant side of the equation. So here are the sulfurs. They're on the product side, so that means I'm going to have to flip that equation. And there's only one of them, which means I'm going to have to multiply each piece in this equation by 2, including the delta H. And when I flip it, the sign on the delta H also flips. The next piece is 2H2O. I have 2H2O right here in the second problem, um, except I only have one of them. So the whole entire equation must get multiplied by 2, including the delta H. Um, it's on the correct side. Both of these things are on the reactant side of the equation. Uh, the next thing is 2H2S's. I have two, and they are on the correct side. They're both listed here as products, and they also are the right quantity. There are two of them. The next thing I need is O2, and I have three O2s there and one O2 there. Um, when you have them in the same element in more than one location, fix the other things and the oxygens or whatever they may be will work themselves out. So let's look to see what we have here. So we're going to, um, on the first equation, uh, leave it the same. It's on the correct side. Um, the S's are... Um, 2 and I need 2 so that gets times by 2 and flipped because it's on the wrong side. The H2O's that problem gets times by 2 but it's on the correct side and that problem everything is the same. The part is on the correct side and it is the correct amount. So the O2's we're gonna let that come out in the wash. Uh, the next thing we do is we do what I said on the last slide. This one is left the same and the number is left the same. This one is times by 2. So the number, which was negative 46.5, is now negative 93. And this one not only gets flipped, it got times by 2. So the number was a positive 222.8, and now it is a negative 445.6. When you add these up, your delta H for your unknown equation is a negative 232.6. And that is how you solve for the change in enthalpy for an unknown equation using Hess's law of summation.